Welcome to Fort Lawrence. I'm here in Bolivar, Ohio, which is in Tuscarawas County in Ohio. This fort was burned down by the Native Americans in the area. And they have a re they have a museum and a replica of it. Right there is a depiction of it. And I'll walk around and show you the outline of it. This is a recreation of Fort Lawrence. And we'll go outside and look at it later. Of uh, 1778, General Washington established a chain of forts along the Great Trail west of Fort Pitt. And you can see Fort McIntosh and Fort Lawrence. Here's some artifacts from 1764 expedition against the Indians. As it says, in 1972, the Ohio Historical Society began archaeological investigation of the Fort Lawrence site to determine the exact location. There's a picture of it. There's a depiction of life in the fort. At one point they were so hungry they had to eat their own shoes. This is Henry Lawrence. And as it shows, he's a close friend of General McIntosh which Fort McIntosh was named after in Beaver, Pennsylvania. Here's a depiction of life in the fort. At one point they were so hungry they had to eat their own shoes. Here's different tools they used. Here's different buttons. some animal parts they had found, bones. So, lead bullets. This is a Continental Army soldier. And here's uh, all the different ways to load it and how they held there and fired. These are all the different bayonets from the different armies. The one on the bottom is an American rifle made in 1784 and the one above it's the French 1772 musket. Some information about the war itself. The Revolutionary War in Ohio country. And here is a map of, of the forts along the Ohio River. So here's the outline of the fort. I'm just going to kind of walk around it. This goes all around the property. They have a museum in here. It's a, it's a really wonderful museum. All this information. And I'll show you later on in the video. So in 1777, as it says, the British sought the support of the tribes with promises to help them recover lands from the Americans, as well as providing them with weapons and ammunition to attack border settlements east of the Ohio River. And if you want to pause that and read that. Here's a map of the Treaty of Greenville. So by the early 1700s, the first European found Delaware, Shawnee, Seneca, Cuyahoga, and Wyandotte tribes living throughout this area. Over the course of countless generations, 
early tribes had used the site of Fort Lawrence as a hunting camp. Here's some more information on that. So here's a, another little fort marker. So you're basically looking for these fort markers if you come over here. So this shows the, the Moravian church and the Lenape Indians. Hopefully you can read that. Please pause and read that. It's a church that started from one of the oldest den Protestant denominations in America. It started in the Czech Republic in Europe. And here is a map of their them moving. So if you can pause that and you can read it if you want to. Basically shows why this fort is here in the first place and here is a picture here's some pictures of the 1972 exca excavation of the fort and another depiction of the fort so right now we are standing in the uh the former cemetery and hospital and i'll show you some graves And there's quite a few of them. Here is the tomb of the unknown soldier. Hopefully you can hear me over the, the interstate traffic, but this was basically the end of it and the, uh, where they moved the Tuscarawas River in place of, of I-77. And here is the canal. There's a boat dock in 1899 in Zorro, Ohio, which is not too far from here. So, what you see is, is I-77 right out there. there. Ain't really much to see beyond the trees, but... So here's the hours of operation, all the visitor information. And, and uh, Fort Lawrence is also connected with... Uh, Zor Village and Shunbrun Village. Check those out too if you're ever in this part of Ohio. For joining me here at Fort Lawrence in Bolivar, Ohio. Join me next time on the road ahead.